Hi, my name is Tom Johnson and I'm going to create a video showing you how to change the screen on an Asus laptop model UL50 AG. Okay, so the first thing is uh, we're going to take the battery out. So this is this is the laptop. The battery you can pop out by uh, flipping it over. And there's two little two little things that you push out. Um, when you do that, the battery comes right out. Okay, now once the battery is out, we go ahead and put this open. <clears throat> And there's a, there's a bunch of screws here. There's screws around the top of the laptop. And you may not see the screws because they have these little plastic things. Uh, they have these little little plastic dealies. Kelly, move that way. Um, and you just have to pop these out. So have a little tiny screwdriver and just uh, pop out the little, little plastic screw hider protectors. Uh, I've already taken the rest of them out. <clears throat> so now you can see the screws and you just take a screwdriver, this is the smallest one I could really find, Phillips, and you're going to unscrew these little tiny screws. So now they're really small, so make sure you don't lose them. Um, this model has about, looks like six screws. Okay, there's one. Actually, I already took one out there. And I loosened up quite a few. The machine is off, by the way, if that wasn't already obvious. But uh, taking the battery out would do that anyway. And of course it's unplugged. There's no nothing plugged in. All right. A few more screws. All right, these screws are coming out here. There's one more. Cow, cow. Alright, there we go. So now we've got all the screws out, keeping them in a nice little pile. And now we should be able to take and kind of pry this little cover, this plastic bevel, off. So you want to be really careful, obviously. But, uh, this is just kind of kind of pops in and out there we go a little bit trickier than I thought. There we go. Okay, so this just pops right out here. And we'll set that aside. And now the screen, <clears throat> we got some, it's gonna have at least one wire attached to it, but before we can get the screen out, there's another set of screws, so. I'm gonna take and unscrew this second row of screws. You know, if you've got like a screwdriver that works with eyeglasses, that would really be ideal. This one's actually a little big, but it's getting the job done. Okay, two. Alright, three, actually be quite convenient if you had little tiny hands, these screws are small. Alright, so now we've got these screws um, that we've taken out and so now we just have to take the screen out. So be very careful. We're gonna flip it back and look for the wire that's attached to the bottom. You see this little little wire right here? 
All right, there's a there's a little tab we're going to use to just pull that back and pull this out. Okay, and keep careful keep a careful eye on exactly kind of how it's positioned because we're going to take the new one and put it right in place. So the new one right here, take off the little protector. Be very careful. All right, it's going to go right in the same position as the old one. <clears throat> okay, we're going to take the little little wire and we're going to put it into its slot there. Just kind of press it in there. Until it looks like it's set. All right, and put that tab back there. This wire was kind of taped on here a little bit. So <clears throat> now we're gonna take and uh, lay it right back in place how it was before. So that it lines up with the little screw holes. It's not really, it's not rocket science or anything. Just kind of putting it back how it was. Make sure that little cord is tucked under. That's looking a little, little more snug. So now we're gonna take these screws that we unscrewed and meticulously put them back in. And wow, here's where having really small, nimble hands would be a benefit. So it turns out that it may be possible to take the screws out with kind of a larger screwdriver, but getting them back in is nearly impossible unless you have kind of an eyeglasses screwdriver, something that you would work on your eyeglasses with. So <clears throat> now that I've got this, it is much easier to screw these little screws back in. So I'm just going to continue my work here. Alright, I have big hands anyway, so it's going to be kind of hard, but it makes a world of difference. There we go. Okay, so this is screwed on. You got them all in there. Look like they're pretty uh, tight enough. <clears throat> okay, now we're going to try to put this little plastic bevel protector back on. Now it's got little little ridges that snap in, but it also has screws and so forth. So we'll try to line it up the best we can, see if we can snap it into place. Yeah, there we go. Snapping it in there. <clears throat> okay, now we're gonna put screws here that are gonna, you know, keep this little plastic thing back on. Can be like that. Okay, so we've got all the screws back in. Let's see if we can snap it in any any better. But uh, it snapped in pretty well, being delicate, of course. We're gonna close it. We're gonna put the battery back in. Remember, you're just gonna slide these two little. I don't even know what you call these guys. Little hook things. And then slide one, that one back to lock it. All right. And we are done. I'm gonna turn this baby on. And make sure that it works. Look at that. Look at that, huh?